So how is the FA Cup run this season helping the financial situation? Well, clearly it's helped tremendously. Um, I mean, we've played a lot of games in the Cup so far. We've played uh, with the replays and we get a cut of the, the gate both home and away. Um, obviously, coming up next Wednesday is the, is the televised game against Mansfield. They'll be thinking the same, that they, they want to get the, the win to get the big one, but um, that's a little bit down the line for both of us yet. Um, but yeah, it does help financially. Um, and the, tele the fact that it's televised next Wednesday night, I mean, that's £34,000 to each club straight away. Obviously, there'll be a good crowd there. Hopefully, there'll be a good crowd. We had a decent crowd here on Saturday. So, all in all, at the moment, it's probably worth well over £100,000 to the football club, which for a club of our size is a tremendous amount of money. And interestingly enough, at Lincoln City, as a board, we don't budget at the start of the season a penny for any cup runs. So all this is bonus, in effect. And how were the club finances affected following relegation to you as well? Quite dramatically. Um, basically, when you're in the Football League, in League Two, which we were, obviously, um, you get £650,000 payment from the league every year. Now, in the first year of relegation uh, in the conference, we retain, they still pay you about £220,000, but we've lost that this season. So over the space of two years, we've lost £650,000. That is a tremendous impact on a football club such as ours. So we've had to, unfortunately, it's meant cost-cutting um, in all areas off the field uh, within office staff and things like it's very sad but we had to do that and of course on the field it meant that we had to dramatically uh, cut our playing budget but the guys that you see today are playing with genuine passion uh, commitment to the shirt um, not best paid in the league by a long long way but at least they're, they're proud to wear the shirt and attendances the last couple of games we saw 4,000 against Mansfield two and a half thousand tonight in terms of gate money does that would that need to be maintained to help? Well, at the threat? start of the season, again, because we're in our second season in, in non-league, we actually had a pessimistic, pessimistic budget on gate revenue. Um, so actually, you could say that we're ahead of, ahead of our budget, but it was, as I say, a pessimistic one. Clearly, a crowd on Saturday helped. We have to give some of that towards Mansfield. Tonight, we tried this £5, uh, a fiver, to come into the game for everybody. That has definitely worked. We've seen two and a half thousand here tonight. So, I mean, we probably anticipated a, probably 14, 1500 here tonight. So we've managed to find another thousand fans, which has helped. Unfortunately, we haven't given the result, of course. And I read somewhere that um, there's a certain figure that needs to be reached in terms of attendances for the club to break even on home games. Do you know the, the sort of figure you'd need to maintain to... We're, we're, we're ahead of budget at the moment, as I say. We, we budgeted for crowds of 2,000. So at the moment, we are ahead of that. Um, you know, we would love to see crowds like we had on Saturday, 4,000. Maybe they'll come back. We just don't know. But, um, and everybody, of course, is talking, and I think it showed a little bit tonight, about the, the big one. Mansfield is saying exactly the same, clearly. That could be worth to either Mansfield or ourselves, the game against Liverpool in the third round. You could be talking over £200,000 there. That is massive. It's almost life-changing, as you might say, for a football club like ours. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's in right, well ahead yet. But as I say, the Mansfield game certainly has helped. And the fans, to be fair, have been very, very loyal. Um, OK, we, we are playing some decent football now. That's our first league defeat, I think, in eight tonight or nine. So, yes, and, and I think the fans can appreciate the commitment. The fans have been brilliant again tonight. They've kept the, ch the cheering going and the chanting going right up to the end. Fortunately, I haven't given them the result. And on the pitch matters, didn't have the best start of the season, but it seems to turn around after the first eight or nine games. What do you think helped trigger that turnaround? Well, to be honest, oh, we've only, in all the games I've seen, and that's most of them, We've only really been turned over once, and that was at Forest Green away. Fortunately, it was on the television, but we were turned over. Up to that time, we were losing by the odd goal. It's a young side. It's a side that's really been brought together. And I think every manager, every football club will say it takes time for the players to get to know each other and to gel. We saw that once they put the same team out two or three times, they started to gel. We started in this run. That breeds confidence. And yeah, again, say it, we've lost tonight, but unfortunately, or unfortunately, that was our first defeat in, in nine games. But up to that, um, yeah, it's been going pretty well. And there was a few voices of uh, discontent at the start of the season with regards to the manager. 
but they kept faith with him and he won manager month last month. Do you think he's the right man here, definitely? I think it's the curse as well, and I don't think we've won since he won the manager of the month, have we? But there you go. I think we've drawn, drawn one and uh, lost two or something like that. Um, I'm convinced he's the right man. I mean, people just seem to forget as well. David's not been a football manager for very long, so in that respect, he's young and inexperienced. But we see something in David. We think for the future, we see a decent manager in there. And we're pleased that he, he's turned it around. He's not just turned the playing side around, he's turned the whole ethos of the football club around. It was, it was difficult when he came in. We said to him, we've got no money, OK? You have to sort the football out, but you have to sort out this ethos that we were down. Now people are smiling. It's a smile around the football club again. Uh, so, yeah, so we think he's doing a decent job. And what are the club's aims for the rest of the season? Sort of mid-table at the moment, having moved away from the relegation places. Is there a, a target? For to position? finish as high up as we can. I mean, realistically, mid-table at least. Who knows? If you can get a little push on after Christmas, uh, who knows where we might finish up. Is the playoffs there? I don't know. I don't know. You know, that must be... That's everybody's aim. We want to get out of the league, but realistically, at least if we can finish mid-table, we can build on that and then move forward to next season.